Spring has sprung, flowers are coming up, and no more snow on the ground. Your animals get to go out and play in the yards, and your house is infested with fleas. Questions about fleas. I love talking about fleas, actually. I mean, they're not fun to have, but they're interesting. Fleas like it where it is warm and moist. And remember, even in places like Iowa, where it gets very cold in the winter, your house is warm inside. People always think it's spring, like that's when the fleas come out, but most people are aware of that and use flea prevention. The worst time for fleas is gonna be September, October. When did you put the flea medicine on last? Uh, I put it on at the first of the month. First of this month? Oh wait. Keeping your animals on a flea prevention is the best thing you can do. None of those things like the sonic, I'm gonna use a sonic blast and it's gonna keep all the flea, no it's not, it doesn't work, just stop it. Three easy installments of 1999, just send me one easy installment of 1999 and it will be equally as effective at getting rid of fleas. Once you've got an infestation of fleas in your house, it can be difficult to get rid of. So this is probably a good time. Let's talk about flea life cycle. Flea life cycle, yay. The flea life cycle is a lot like um, the butterfly life cycle. Most people know that, but you have the adults, and the adults lay the eggs. Now the adult flea lives on the animal, on the cat or the dog. They spend all their time on there. And then they have their little good times, and they have some eggs, and the eggs lay, and they fall off into the environment. Those eggs then hatch and become the caterpillars or larvae, and they'll live in the grass or in the carpet, depending on where you are, maybe even in your couch. And they're little teeny tiny things, you can't see them. Then they become the pupae, and that would be like the, you know, in the chrysalis with the butterfly. And then they hatch into a beautiful flea. The thing to remember about the life cycle is if you're treating your animal, that's only killing the adults, right? Because that's what lives on the animal. So you also have to treat the environment. You want to make sure that the eggs don't hatch and some of the topical medications and some of the pills actually have something in there so that the eggs won't hatch. But you also want to try to kill those larvae. And there's a lot of products out there that will help kill those larvae as well. When they're in the pupa stage, there isn't anything that's going to kill them. So the important thing to remember about this is that when your animal has uh, an infestation, by the time you notice it, you've probably got six weeks of fleas that have been living on your animal and in your house. That means you have six weeks of pupae that have to hatch, jump on the animal, and die because of the treatment that you've used on your animal. So it could take a long time to get rid of an infestation. It's not going to be gone the next day. The average uh, flea life cycle, if everything's going really well, is probably like three weeks, you know, then you get new fleas up. But they can stay in that pupa stage for a long time, months and months, so it could be an apartment that, was, that had fleas in it and was vacant for several months, and then you come in and you're walking around that apartment and now fleas are jumping on you. And it's because of the vibrations and the CO2 that you're putting out that the pupae are like, ooh, time to come out and get a meal. But there's no dog or cat there, so they're gonna jump on you, the next best thing. I wonder how often Scooby-Doo got fleas, because they were like all the time going into like old abandoned houses. Maybe that's why he was always like, Rubble, I gotta get out of here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you're as interested in fleas as I am, and I hope you know just as much as I do now. You don't. But thanks for watching. If you have more questions, put them in the comments and subscribe.